Wow, Magic the Gathering is very, very expensive. Holy shit, man. I am, uh, I am, uh, stunned, actually, by this current development. No, I'm not. I mean... Okay, people got laid off. Why did those people got laid off? Because they got to save money, right? They, it's Everything is about money, 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 right? And they're going to milk the player base until there is no money left, man. Modern Horizon 3, we know that there's going to be fetch lands and all different types of fetch lands and all different ally fetch lands, of course. But what if I told you that the collector's edition of these bundles... Uh, would cost $600 for four decks. Like, who the blank has $600? Now, there is one man out there. And he's making a big fuss about this. But $600 is still cheaper than his uh, Mystery Box 6.9. And I would honestly believe there is more value from a resale. I know this is a terrible thing, guys. This is This is really bad. But who made this? Who led the charge to charge? I mean, let me let me give you a conspiracy. Again, I have no evidence of this, right? Supposedly, Alpha Investments talks to the people at Wizard of the Coast. They send them emails. They send them emails back on company time, probably using company email. I'm sure that they're definitely not laid off, right? Because of that. And he's got he got inside men sending him all this information about limited sets and how limited Carvel Manor is and how it's gonna to go to the moon. Well, what if Wizard Coast gets information from him? And they're watching him sell a mystery box for six hundred and ninety dollars of mostly MetaZoo, and they said, you know what, we're a better company than MetaZoo, we're not gonna bankrupt and leave uh, pre orders unfulfilled. We are going to make a product. That is $400 a box for a play booster. <laughs> $600 for four EDH collectible bundles. And none of this stuff is anywhere close to what this guy charges for one booster box of N MetaZoo Nightfall. Which is $820 in case you guys uh, forgot. Right? It's $8,200. $8, $8,200 if you want five kits. Right? And maybe he'll throw you a bone at the end. And you get a flip, flip to somebody. This is the beginning of the end. A, a single booster pack for $42. A single mother effing booster pack for $42, guys. Commander decks for $600. What the hell are we talking about right now? Guys, like, this is real money. And, and they followed... Here's my opinion of what happened. The secondary market, Wizard Coast wants to make sure the secondary market gets zero. They want to make sure all that profit, all that, any money that can be made, 100% of it will go to Wizard Coast instead of game stores, instead of Alpha Investment. They're, they are po they are just draining the wealth. And how did it? Oh, reprint, serialized number. Like any, the handwriting is on the wall. I mean, it, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what is next. So it is literally a $504 box. $504. Like this is for 12 packs. This is outrageous pricing. And the play booster is not any better at $400. The commander decks are not any better. It's $70 a commander deck, non-collector, and probably $150 for the collector. I'm going to throw up. Um, this is not... Good. And the reason, that, and again, people say, oh, I blame Rudy for everything. He is the beginning. Like, understand this. He He's making fun of this and, and going ham on it. But like $600, if that's a lot of money to you, $690 is a lot of money, right? Because it's more than $600. $820 for one box of MetaZoo is a lot of money for you. $8,200 $8, is a lot of money for you. Many people bought four boxes of Alpha Investment 6.9. And remember, they're paying a monthly fee. So no matter what Amazon is doing, they're only copying the guy who taught him how to do it, taught them how to do it. They show He showed that there is a secondary market, but instead of Alpha Investment making the attendees, they want the attendees. And that's why they're using Amazon. 
They want to be direct to consumer. They don't want alpha investment to make profit. They don't want any middleman anymore. They want 100% of the money to go to them, 100% of the profit to go to them. These, I mean, this might be a great set, but it's such a, imagine you're a game store. You have Fallout, so that's a lot of cash flow. Uh, we, we still don't. I think Fallout was great. I think it's going to crush. But nothing is ever guaranteed in life, right? And that's definitely a cash sink. And then a lot of people are being shorted and their orders are being canceled. So they're not even able to make money from it. What if you go deep in this? Like, it's a lot more risky for a local game store than ever before. Because if you do go deep in this set, it's not a eighty dollars a box. It's four hundred mother effing dollars a box. Like, what if you're a game store and this fails? Your six hundred dollar commander decks fail. Your four hundred dollar play boosters fail. Your five hundred dollar collectors boosters for twelve of them fail. What if that happens? Like, do you really have the amount of cash flow to be able to... I mean, we're talking about Carlo Manor. I think that's a fail. Ravnica Remaster, I think that's a fail. You have two really bad sets. Fallout, a lot of people can't get it. They can't get it. So even if I believe Fallout will do very well, which I do, it, it's a moot point if you can't even get Fallout. This is... you got to say no. Please, please, guys, you have to boycott this product. I talked about Fallout, but I think Fallout is a reasonable product. This is 600 mother effing dollars. This is 400 mother effing dollars. Like, this should not happen. I wonder how we got here. Could it be the VIP pack opening alpha investment? Could it be the 6.9? Could it be the uh, $8,200 MetaZoo 5 Booster Pop Box Kit? That's all you got in terms of booster boxes. They, Wizard of the Coast does not want a single person but themselves making money. Maybe they're right. Maybe direct-to-consumer DTC is the way to go for them. But at $504 a booster box for collectors, it's just... I mean, it, it's... Not right. I played this game for a long time. And one of the reasons I boycotted for over two years now, minus Fallout, is uh, the pricing is insane. It's too much risk for you to buy this much of it and hold it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.